if f and g are two density functions then which of the following is always true so here for uh, statements are given we have to see which one is correct 2f minus g is a pdf maximum of f comma g is a pdf f dot g is a pdf and 2f plus g by 3 is a pdf so we can see that from directly only we can see these three need not be correct always but so the correct option is 4 2f plus g by 3 will be a pdf if f and g are two density functions if x1, x2 and x3 are independent and identically distributed random variables with a distribution function f of x, then probability of x1 less than x2 less than x3 is. So, we can see that the x1 less than x2 less than x3, there are only three IID random variables uh, and it is having the same distribution functions. So, this event can occur in three diff uh, sorry six different ways. That is, it will be x1 less than x2 less than x3. Or we can write it as x1 less than x3 less than x2, then x2 less than x1 less than x3, etc. We will have six combinations. So, uh, this, since these three, uh, sorry, since these six uh, events are equally likely to happen, so the probability of one happening will be equal to 1 by 6. That is, probability of x1 less than x2 less than x3 will be equal to 1 by 6. Option 4 is the right answer. Next question. Let y have a continuous uniform distribution on the interval 0 and 1. The conditional probability density function of x given y is given by f of x given y is equal to 1 by y if 0 less than x less than y less than 1 and 0 otherwise. Then expectation of x is equal to. So, we have to find out the expectation of x. So, the equation will be expectation of x is equal to integral 0 to 1, integral 0 to 1 which will be the uh, range of y then integral 0 to y range of x x into 1 by y dx into dy this will be the equation to find out so first we find out the uh, we integrate with respect to x and then with the respect to y and final answer we are going to get as 1 by 4 that is option 2 is the right answer 1 by 4 if the distribution function of x is given by capital f of x is equal to 0 for x less than 0, x square by 9 for 0 less than or equal to x less than 3 and 1 for 3 less than or equal to x. Then the expected value of x is, we have to find out the e of x. For that, well, first what we have to find is uh, f of x that is the density function. So, we already have capital f of x is equal to x square by 9 and 1. So, uh, differentiating over 1 will be 0 only. So, differentiating over x square by 9, we get the a small f of x as 2x by 9. Now, we have to substitute this value that is expectation of x is equal to integral x into 2x by 9 dx and the range will be from 0 to 3 that is 0 to 3. So, we will get 2 by 9 into integral 0 to 3 x square dx and we can substitute the values that is 2 by 9 into x cube by 3 from 0 to 3 and give value 3 to x and finally we will get the answer as 2 that is expected value of x will be equal to 2. Let x be a discrete random variable with moment generating function mx of t is equal to 1 plus 2 e power t raised to 3 into 1 plus 3 e power t raised to 4 divided by 6, 9, 1, 2. Then we have to see which of the given statements is true. Given expectation of x equal to 5, variance of x is equal to 16 by 48, probability of x greater than 2 will be equal to 25 by 6912 and probability of x equal to 5 will be 4 by 6912. So, we can see that option 3 and 4 we cannot get directly. This we cannot get and if we have to find probability of x equal to 5, we have to see the Taylor x series expansion and t raised to 5 etc. which is very complicated. So, if we get a question, we will see which one is the easiest one to do. If we are getting it in the first step only, that will be the better one. So, from among this, we have expectation of x will be the uh, simpler one we have to find out. That is, if we have mx of t and we if we find mx dash of t at t value equal to 0, we get the expectation of x and mx or double dash of t at t is equal to 0 will be equal to variance of x. So, the first one is the easiest one and we will see whether expectation of x equal to 5 or not. If it is not 5, we will move to the variance of x. So, we can see here that mx of t is given 
വൺ പ്ലസ് ടു ഇ പവർ ടി റേസ് ടു ത്രീ ആൻഡ് വൺ പ്ലസ് ത്രീ ഇ പവർ ടി റേസ് ടു ഫോർ ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ സിക്സ് നയൻ വൺ ടു സോ ഫ്രം ദിസ് വൺ വി ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ഡി ബൈ ഡി ടി ഓഫ് എം എക്സ് ഓഫ് ടി ആൻഡ് സബ്സ്റ്റിറ്റ് ദ വാല്യൂ ടി ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ആൻഡ് ഇഫ് വി കാൽക്കുലേറ്റ് ദീസ് വാല്യൂസ് വി ക്യാൻ സീ ദാറ്റ് വി ഗെറ്റ് ദ എക്സ്പെക്ടേഷൻ ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഫൈവ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ വൺ ഇസ് ദ റൈറ്റ് ആൻസർ if y is an f alpha beta that is a student's f s neta core f distribution with alpha and beta random variable were alpha greater than 2 and beta greater than 2 then expectation of y into expectation of 1 by y so here given y follows f distribution with alpha and beta parameters were alpha greater than 0 and beta greater than 0 so we have expectation of y is equal to alpha divided by beta minus 2 Similarly, if uh, we can find out expectation of 1 minus y, sorry, 1 divided by y and the right answer we are going to get is alpha beta divided by alpha minus 2 into beta minus 2. That is option 3 will be the right answer. Let z be an exponential random variable with mean alpha where alpha greater than 0. The conditional distribution of y given z has a Poisson distribution with the mean z. Then variance of z is equal to. That is, the question is given that z is an exponential random variable with mean alpha. So, from that only we can understand that if we are cutting the second statement, we can simply take the first and the last statement. That is, z is an exponential random variable with the mean alpha. That is, z follows exponential random variable and the mean is equal to alpha. And we have to find out the variance of z. So, expectation of z is equal to alpha so for an exponential distribution we know that variance of z will be equal to alpha square that is the first option is the right answer let y be a geometric point 6 random variable taking the values 1 to etc 1 to etc then probability of y is equal to 5 given y greater than or equal to 2 is equal to so we have y following a geometric distribution with the parameter 0.6 we have to find out probability of y is equal to 5 given y greater than or equal to 2 so again a conditional probability becomes that is probability of y is equal to 5 intersection y greater than or equal to 2 divided by probability of y greater than or equal to 2 so it is already given by follows geometric distribution so for a geometric distribution we have 1 minus p raised to k minus 1 into p as probability of y is equal to k and probability of y greater than or equal to k will be equal to 1 minus 1 minus p raised to k so uh, for this equation p is the parameter and that value is given as p is equal to 0.6 so substituting these values in this equation that is probability of y is equal to 5 intersection probability of y equal to greater than or equal to 2 we can simply write it as probability of y is equal to 5 divided by probability of y greater than or equal to 2 we are going to get the answer as third option that is 0.0384 if x is distributed as binomial n comma p or 0 less than p less than 1 then we have to see again four statements are given and we have to see which one is correct so from the, here we can simply uh, by looking only we can understand the third one is the right answer that is we know that x if x follows binomial binomial n comma p that is n is the total number of uh, trials x is the number of success and uh, n minus x will be number of failures so if x is going to follow binomial n comma p then n minus x is going to follow binomial n comma 1 minus p so the third one is the right hand answer that is n minus x is distributed as binomial n comma 1 minus p 1 minus p will be the probability of failure and n minus x is the number of failures so the question is given as if x and y are independent exponential random variable with the means respective means as 10 and 5 then mean of minimum of x and y will be that is first we will see what is given so 
x and y is following exponential random variable that is uh, y follow x, x follows exponential and y follows exponential and given mu x is equal to 10 mu y is equal to 5 so this will be 1 by lambda x equal to 1 by lambda y so if x is following exponential lambda x and y is following exponential lambda y we got the mu x is equal to 1 by lambda x so from this we can write it as lambda x is equal to 1 by 10 and lambda y is equal to 1 by 5. So we will keep those values there. Now we have to find out the minimum of x and y and find out its mean. So minimum of x, y is going to again going to follow an exponential distribution but with 1 by lambda as the parameter where lambda will be equal to lambda x plus lambda y. So, we can write minimum of x, y is going to follow an exponential distribution with 1 by lambda x plus lambda y parameters. And its mean, mean of the minimum will be equal to 1 by lambda which will be equal to 1 by lambda x plus lambda y which will be by substituting the values 1 by 1 by 10 plus 1 by 5 and final answer we are going to get as fourth option that is 10 by 3 will be the mean of the minimum of x, y where x and y is following exponential distribution.